Mr. President, it is a joy and a privilege that we are your guests at the White House once again as we mark the 190th anniversary of the Greek Revolution of 1821 and the 25th anniversary of the celebration of Greek Independence Day at the White House. Thank you for the honor that your invitation bestows not only on us, but on all Greek Orthodox Americans. The Day of Greek Independence is celebrated throughout the Greek American community with joyous gatherings and solemn declaration that God had put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the humble, even as we read in the Gospel of Luke. Our presence here at the home of the leader of the free world is both a celebration of this sacred world and an actual fulfillment. The proclamation that you sign uh, tells the same story of an incredible reversal of fortunes. Prior to March 25th, 1821, the Greek people were in a condition of abject oppression lasting four centuries. Under the Ottoman occupation, they lived in poverty and religious oppression, deprived of human dignity. From them, in essence, every good thing has been taken away. Everything that is except their faith. They never lost their faith in the God who exalts the humble and opposes the arrogant. With that faith came heroic courage, with that faith came a spirit of amazing self-sacrifice. With that faith came the visionary foresight to hope and to strive for a day when their children and grandchildren could, without fear, sing songs of victory and freedom and rejoice over the exaltation of the lowly and the overthrow of the haughty and the mighty. Mr. President, your proclamation honors those faithful patriots of 1821, but it also issues a challenge to us in our world in the present day. Every March 25th, we celebrate the miraculous reversal of fortunes, not only for a single generation of Greeks, but as an expression of divine justice that will occur by God's grace in every generation. We cannot champion this idea without then asking ourselves where we are today. To the extent that we do not raise our voices on behalf of the downtrodden and the oppressed, to the extent that we do not share our blessings with the needy and the destitute, to the extent that we do not provide freedom and dignity to the enslaved and the exploited by tyrannical regimes. To that same event, we set ourselves alongside the arrogant and mighty with the result that we invite upon ourselves their same ultimate fatal destiny. For this reason, Mr. President, please know that you and your family remain in our fervent prayers as you lead our great nation. May God grant you wisdom and courage as you contend daily with tremendous challenges in our own land and around the world. May your voice be strong and clear in advocating the democracy and freedom for all people based on the principles of self-determination, religious freedom, and the rule of law. We take this opportunity today to thank you personally for your continued specific leadership in matters relating to the rights of our ecumenical patriarchate in Turkey, for the safety and freedom of religious minorities in places of oppression, for satisfactory and fair political solution in Cyprus and the Free Rome in the Balkans, 
and for the success of democratic movements in all parts of the world. Not only do we thank you, Mr. President, but we also offer the support of the Greek Orthodox community of America to your efforts to provide aid to the victims of the huge catastrophic events like the tsunami in Japan, to establish stability to our economy and environmental well-being in our planet, and to assist the people of Northern Africa, near, middle, and far east in their noble fights for freedom and democracy. Indeed, in every way that you are laborious for the reversal of fortunes of the oppressed, we ask for the honor of being your fellow workers. For this is, for us, the truest celebration of the spirit of the 25th of March and the day of Greek independence. Again, Mr. President, thank you, and may the blessing of the Lord be richly upon you, your beloved family, and our noble nation of America. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Well, good evening, everybody. Kalispera. Uh, Thank you, Your Eminence, for the kind introduction. It is always uh, an honor to welcome you here in the White House. We've been friends for quite some time now. Uh, and uh, His Eminence always displays such grace and good humor. Uh, and is so generous. Uh, we are so very grateful for your leadership. Uh, it is a wonderful pleasure to see so many friends and leaders of the Hellenic uh, American community here as we celebrate the 190th anniversary of Greek independence. I want to, uh, I want to acknowledge several people. Uh, first of all, we've got some members of Congress here. here. Uh, Michael Grimm from New York. Where is Michael? There he is. Carolyn Maloney, also from New York. John Sarbanes from Maryland. And then we have another guy, I don't know if he's any relation, Paul Sarbanes, also of Maryland. Uh, we've got Ambassador uh, Demetrius uh, Morantis, uh, Deputy USTR. He's got a few fans here. Uh, we've got uh, Nicholas Caracostas, uh, the, the uh, President of the American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association. Uh, I want to especially uh, welcome Deputy Foreign Minister uh, Dalis for traveling all the way here from uh, Athens to join us today. Uh, I spoke with your Prime Minister, uh, our good friend Mr. Papandreas today, uh, and uh, I wanted him to extend our congratulations to the en entire uh, Greek nation, uh, and we very much appreciate uh, you being here to represent your government. Uh, we are also joined here by Greek Ambassador uh, Kaskarelis. Where is he? There he is. Good to see you, Mr. Ambassador. We have the Cypriot Ambassador, uh, Anast uh, Anastasiadis. There you go. And his wife, Maria. Tonight, we reaffirm the bond our two nations have shared for as long as we've existed. Uh, our founding fathers were students of Greek philosophy and Greek history, drawing on Greek principles to guide our own nation in its earliest days. Uh, when it was time for Greek revolutionaries to fight for freedom, they looked to the United States for strength and support. And to this day, the United States and Greece share a bond rooted in common values and common ideals. Uh, as allies, we stand together, not only for our own security, but for the freedom of peoples around the world. Uh, right now, Greek and American soldiers are serving together in Afghanistan. Uh, and as we celebrate the independence of the Greek people, the United States and Greece are standing with our NATO allies to support the Libyan people as they stand up for their own freedom. So I just want to express uh, the extraordinary thanks that I give to the people of Greece for their friendship and for their contributions to the life of our nation and so many others. I also obviously want to say to all my great friends in the Greek American community uh, how much I appreciate your support uh, and your friendship. Uh, and I'm glad that uh, we have one more occasion 
uh, to celebrate together uh, here in the White House. So it's wonderful to see you again, and I hope you guys have a great time today. All right? Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you.